Hey, what's going on, everybody? Coach K here, coming at you with another College Football 25 video down the pipeline. This one's going to be 10 offensive and defensive predictive player overalls. Now, I'm going to be basing these completely off of how they did ratings in the previous games. Now, you're going to see some pretty bloated ratings, and that might throw the Madden fans for a loop seeing such high-rated college players. However, if we remember NCAA Football 14, their overalls were very, very bloated for each of the teams. Now, to start this out, we're going to start with the defensive side of the ball. The dogs. The things that will win people championships in College Football 25. Our first player to talk about is Marcus Harris, cornerback out of Cal, coming in at a probable 99 overall. Now, the reason I say that he's a 99 is because he's projected to be a 2026 early first round pick and is a cornerstone of his defense. Next on this list is Shamar Turner, defensive line, Texas A&M, coming in at 98 overall. He, as well, is pretty high rated because he's a projected early D-line pick next year. And next, following the D-line trend, JT Tuomalau, edge, Ohio State University, is coming in at a 95 overall because he was a cornerstone last year on that Ohio State defense. Our next player to talk about, Jordan Hall, D-line, Georgia, is coming in at a 94 predicted overall. Now, the reason I have him kind of lower on the 90s, and he's still projected to be a 2026 early first round pick, we got to give him some room to grow and progress. Now, the last D lineman coming in is Jasheen Davis, edge out of Wake Forest, coming in at a 90 overall. He's projected to be a mid round pick next year's draft, so I, I decided to give him a 90 overall because I feel like that's about the rating it would be for NCAA football 14. Our next two players on the defensive predictive overall video are going to be both linebackers. The first one being Eugene Asante, linebacker out of Auburn, coming in at a 92 overall. And then Smail Mondon Jr., linebacker out of Georgia, 89 overall. If you're a fan of using OP teams in head-to-head, -head, you might want to look at using Georgia as your team for head-to-head -head because they're looking pretty good defensively. And then last but not least, the next three players are going to be safeties, and that's going to be Rod Moore out of the University of Michigan, coming in at 94 overall. Aubrey Burks out of West Virginia, coming in at 93 overall. And then Sebastian Castro out of Iowa, coming in at an 88 overall. Now that's just the tip of the iceberg for defensive ratings when it comes to college football 25. There's going to be so many teams that are so well-rounded defensively because defense in college football is just ever so improving and getting better and better every year. Now for the predictive offensive grades, our three wide receivers are going to be Emeke Ebuka out of the Ohio State University coming in at a 98 overall, Zachariah Branch out of USC coming in at 97 overall, and Dominic Lovett out of Georgia coming in at an 89 overall. Now don't hate me for how I'm rating these two QBs and how lower they are and how you consider them, but let's be honest, if we're rating unbiased, our two QBs that we're talking about this video are Arch Manning out of Texas and he's coming out at 90 overall, and then Shadur Sanders out of Colorado coming in at an 87 overall. Now that might be a surprise to some of you coming in at lower overalls in the spectrum of things, but Arch Manning hadn't started a football game for Texas, and Shadur Sanders struggled with a poor offensive line, I'll give it to him, but still, he needs to show some improvement. Now for our only tight end on this entire list, coming in at a 98 overall, is Brian Nesbitt out of UNC. This dude is projected to be an early pick next year, and I have high hopes for him going into this next college football season. And now let's talk about the trenches. Coming in at a 97 overall is Anthony Belton out of NC State, projected to be an early pick in the coming years. And then interior offensive lineman Tate Rutledge out of Georgia is coming in at a 96 overall. And then last but not least, Zion Nelson, offensive tackle out of Miami, Florida, coming in at a 93 overall. Now let me know what you guys think below when it comes to ratings in College Football 25 down below in the comments. And while you're down there, if you're commenting, you might as well subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications to see whenever we upload more College Football 25 news and speculation. This has been Coach K with predictive overalls for College Football 25, and thanks for watching.